Google just unleashed one of the biggest AI shockwaves of the entire year. And honestly, the timing of everything dropping at once feels unreal. Within just a few days, we saw massive jumps in agents, reasoning models, and image generation. DeepMind revealed SEMA 2, a goal-driven 3D agent that can think through tasks, generalize across worlds, and even train itself. A mysterious hidden model suddenly appeared inside Google AI Studio with near-perfect handwritten text recognition and some of the cleanest symbolic reasoning ever seen. And on top of that, Nano Banana 2 leaked again, showing visuals that look almost identical to Google's internal Gemini image engines, with insane detail, clean text handling, and pro-level photo remastering. Everything landed at the same time. So let's go through all of it. SEMA 2 is the next evolution of DeepMind's generalist game world agent. The first SEMA already shocked people last year because it could follow over 600 instructions across different virtual environments, turning, climbing, opening maps, interacting with objects, basic navigation. But it struggled with longer, multi-step missions. In DeepMind's own comparison, real players completed around 71% of Long Horizon tasks, while SEMA managed only about 31%. It was promising, but it didn't hold the bigger picture together. SEMA 2 completely changes that. DeepMind rebuilt the system using Gemini as the core reasoning engine. Suddenly, the agent isn't just following commands. It understands goals. It interprets what the objective actually means, plans out meaningful steps, explains why it's taking those steps, and checks itself as it goes along. They trained it on huge sets of human demonstration videos with language labels, then filled in the missing gaps using labels generated by Gemini itself. With this combination, SEMA 2 almost doubled its performance on complex multi-step tasks and stayed flexible across multiple game engines. The most fascinating part is how broadly it generalizes. It can jump into brand new games it was never trained on, like Aska, a Viking survival world, or environments inside Mind Dojo, the Minecraft research platform. It handles multilingual prompts, emojis, sketches, multi-step instructions, and even transfers concepts from one world to another. If SEMA 2 learns how mining works in one environment, it can apply that knowledge to harvesting in a completely different world without being told how in No Man's Sky, it read messy terrain, located a distress beacon, and laid out a step-by-step -step plan like it had already played the game before. DeepMind expanded the ecosystem further by pairing SEMA 2 with Genie 3, their real-time world generator. Genie can take a single image or even one line of text and instantly build an entire 3D environment around it, and SEMA 2 steps into those freshly generated worlds as if they're normal game levels, navigating, using tools, completing objectives, reacting naturally to mobs, clutter, trees, random objects, whatever Genie decides to create. And because these worlds are synthetic, the agent doesn't rely nearly as much on human-made data. It starts with human demonstrations, but then learns through self-directed play. One Gemini model sets the challenge, another evaluates the attempt, and SEMA 2 keeps repeating until it masters the skill. This lets it learn abilities in places no human has ever labeled. While all this was happening, something wild appeared inside Google AI Studio. A historian named Mark Humphreys encountered a completely unknown model during one of Google's silent A-B tests, which users suspect could be early Gemini 3. He uploaded messy 18th century handwritten documents, smudged journals, strange symbols, inconsistent spelling, vague numbers, the type of data that destroys most AIs because it requires context and historical reasoning. The new model delivered near-expert interpretation. Gemini 2.5 Pro had a 4% character error rate and an 11% word error rate. This new model dropped it to 0.56% CER and 1.22% WER. Basically one error every 200 characters. And then came another major event, a leak of Nano Banana 2 on media.ai. It was removed quickly, but users downloaded the samples and creators like Mars, Everything Tech, and Elio shared more images. Some samples are nearly identical to Google's internal Gemini image engines. Nano Banana 2 also understands both visual content and world knowledge, making it capable of producing banners, ads, social media graphics, and full compositions that normally require Photoshop. Google hasn't confirmed the release date, but with multiple leaks, including the media.ai preview, launch looks close. This fits Google's pattern of releasing waves of Gemini-powered tools. All of these breakthroughs together suggest Google is moving toward AI systems that don't just predict, they actually understand the world they operate in. Let me know what you think, drop your thoughts in the comments, hit subscribe, and like if you enjoyed the breakdown, and I'll see you in the next video.